This is the Best Stocks to Buy podcast. Looking for quality stock tips? Well, we bring you timely investment ideas based on the latest stock and market outlooks. Our ideas are driven by a proprietary software that reviews, analyzes, and ranks for 6,000 stocks every week. So you may hear the name of a company you haven't heard of before. And you know what? That is often the best kind of opportunity, an opportunity to get in early before the investing masses. The Best Stocks to Buy podcast is made possible by Kind of Management Group, a registered investment management firm serving individuals, business owners, and family offices. Hi, everyone. This is Mathis Connor with Connor Management Group, and this is the Best Stocks to Buy podcast. Today is Sunday, January 20th, 2019, and this week we're going to look at the best growth stock to buy right now. Uh, on our opening slide, it's called the Setup and the Approach. Now, the key objective of this podcast is to present to you a high probability upside potential stock. The key tool we use is a financial model, a proprietary tool we develop that uses multiple valuation approaches across over 6,000 stocks that we review on a weekly basis. So the view you're getting is not driven by some sensational headline and some popular publication focused on increasing readership but simply based on the best investment opportunity we can find to present to you. Now, an easy way of thinking about our approach is to think about the method of triangulation uh, that law enforcement uses to locate a cell phone. In our case, we use a form of triangulation to locate a future stock price using different valuation methods. Now, I truly view creating such a financial model as daunting, but I believe I was well prepared for the challenge. I have both computer programming experience as an engineer and over $15 billion of transaction experience as a banker. So my approach didn't come overnight. I painstakingly reviewed over 40 years of white papers, taking away the best that each had to offer, and then added some of my own tested intuition to implement new data sets that weren't even available as little as 10 years ago. Furthermore, uh, our model uses both historical and projected values and takes into account management's historical accuracy of meeting the projections that they share with the public. Now, a point worth remembering is that these views are based on today. An unforeseen economic report, a regional conflict, a revised policy can change these expectations tomorrow. A uh, benefit of using a professional money manager like Kana Management Group is having someone experienced in making educated assessments about the uncontrollable as well as having someone readily available to share uh, their opinion with on whether a particular event is reason for concern. And now, so what did our model find for you this week? Well, what we found is the best growth stock to buy right now is in the automotive parts industry. Yep, automotive parts. Uh, on to the industry overview slide. The automotive parts industry covers a variety of specialty parts and automotive subsystem manufacturers heavily consisting of steel and aluminum. So the here are 10 largest competitors by market pack, market capitalization, just to kind of level set. The, the names of the companies are Number one, Genuine, uh, Genuine Parts Company, Eaton Corporation, Adiant PLC, Transmission Holdings, Autolive Incorporated, Aptiv PLC, American Axle and Manufacturing, Borg Warner, Cooper Standard, and Cooper Tire and Rubber. So here's a list of some of the growth drivers in this industry right now. Uh, Continued increases in total miles driven by vehicles. Growth in the average vehicle life. Lower corporate tax rates. uh, Increasing demand for heavy trucks. uh, Replacement parts for heavy trucks have higher margins. So those are kind of the growth drivers driving the automotive parts industry right now. And the industry challenges right now primarily are just spikes in steel and aluminum costs uh, from new tariffs. And now for the big reveal, 
the best growth stock to buy right now, we found it to be a company called Borg Warner. Uh, their ticker symbol is BWA, and we see their six month upside potential at greater than 50%. On to the quick facts slide. Here's a d- business summary description Borg Warner is a supplier of highly engineered components and systems for automotive powertrain applications. Products sold to original equipment manufacturers include four wheel and all wheel drive transfer cases, manual and automatic transmissions, clutches, and torque converters. Uh, Ford accounted for 15% of 2017 sales. Volkswagen accounted for 13% of 2017 sales. Uh, The company operates in many regions, including North America and Europe, and foreign operations were 77% of 2017 sales. So this company sells a lot domestically, but quite a bit internationally as well. Uh, the website is www.borgwarner, that's B-O-R-G-W-A-R-N-E-R.com. Uh, the company is headquartered in Auburn Hills, Michigan. They were founded in 1993, and they have 29,000 employees. On to the metrics slide. Over the last 12 months, Borg Warner had $10.5 billion in annual revenue. Over the last 12 months, the net income was $555 million. And over the last 12 months, cash from operations were at $1.1 billion. Uh, the operating margins were a respectable 17.5% for 2018. And they're expected to be flat also at 17.5% for 2019. Uh, valuation ratios are pretty attractive. The trailing P.E. ratio right now is at 15.0, but the forward P.E. ratio is a much lower 7.6. So that implies that earnings are expected to increase strongly over the next 12 months. Uh, the peg ratio is at 1.3. Uh, anything around 1 is attractive. Uh, price to sales ratio is at 0. 0.8. The price to book ratio is at 2.0, also not too, also somewhat attractive. And the enterprise value to EBITDA ratio is at 5.8. The dividend yield of Borg Warner right now stands at 1.7%. The average dividend payout ratio is 15% over the last three years. Uh, On to the next slide is a price chart of Borg Warner. And over the last 12 months, the stock has declined uh, a bit from around $50 down to around $40 right now. Uh, The stock pulled back in the third quarter of 2018 due to weaker uh, than expected results in the third quarter. The engine segment had underperformed while gross margins generally narrowed due to inflation and tariffs. The next slide is called Looking Back and Looking Forward. Uh, looking Back, Borg Warner experienced weaker than expected third quarter 2018 results due to the engine segment, inflation, and steel and aluminum tariffs, as we just mentioned. Uh, the drivetrain group uh, had recently posted stronger than expected results due to demand for oil all-wheel drive systems, and transmission components. So that's looking back. Looking forward, sales are expected to increase over the next year from international demand for its products. Uh, The company's financials are expected to benefit from a lower corporate tax rate. Uh, The company continues to invest heavily in new product developments, and the company's stock has strong upside potential based on projected earnings. The why now, the bull rationale for Borg Warner. Uh, Number one, over the next year, the company is expected to have increasing sales per share. And the valuation metrics right now are low. And in the the near future, they're expected to be even lower. Uh, Additionally, the company is expected to continue to reduce its debt. So all those are levers for the stock to go up. So that's the, our bull rationale. 
And on to the summary slide. The financial statement quality of Borg Warner is excellent. The net profit trend is increasing. Price pattern trend we, we mentioned has declined uh, a, a bit due to third quarter 2018 results. But the industry outlook is positive as well as the overall market outlook. Uh, the recent co- closing price for Borg Warner uh, was $39.93. And over the next six months, we can see the stock reaching as high as $63.24, which gives the company a six month upside potential of greater than 50%. So it's for all these reasons that we believe that Borg Warner is the best growth stock to buy right now. We hope you found this presentation helpful. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Hi, everyone. Do you often wish you had a better feel for control over your investments? Do you often wish you had the ability to quickly get an answer to a question of yours when it comes to the economy or your investing choices? Do you often wish you had someone to bounce investment ideas off of just to be sure of your decisions? Well, I found you're not alone. And these are the reasons behind my firm, Connor Management Group. Kind of Management Group is a registered financial advisor and investment manager, in addition to being a podcast publisher. Our clients are professional individuals and small business owners. We help them invest and grow their retirement and savings accounts. A special sauce, so to speak, is a comprehensive value and growth finding computer program we created that we talk about in our podcast. Uh, the program and our approach leverages time-tested growth and value investing principles, and then some, used by legendary investors Warren Buffett and Peter Lynch. Additionally, unlike others, we are forward-thinking and use social media to both serve and educate our clients and their families to become better investors. We figure the better you become as an investor, the more you'll appreciate what we do for you. Uh, we knew, we now offer a free mobile app available on both Android and Apple devices that offer our podcasts, additional stock picks, videos, expert interviews, weekly economic summaries, news, and more, including the ability to quickly send us a question or concern to me directly from within the app itself for a quick reply. To learn more about our service and to download our mobile app, just visit our website at www.connormg.com. Or if you prefer, simply give me a call at 281-947-2201. That's 281-947-2201. All right. Have a good week.